Hello friends, family, and internet stranger, Stephanie here, and today I've got a new what's for dinner video for you. The meals in this video are very simple, but the first one I'm going to show you was one of my favorite meals I've ever made, so definitely recommend trying that one out. Let's get right into it. First up is this Italian chicken pasta concoction. I had no recipe going into this. I had gotten some chicken reduced at the grocery store. You can see that nice little reduced sticker, although it is sad that for two chicken breasts, $5.50 is reduced. But either way, I decided to use up some of the ingredients that I had in my kitchen. This is right before I went on my trip to Ireland, so I wanted to use things up. And I seasoned my chicken with some garlic powder, some salt, some pepper, and some Italian seasoning. In my skillet, I've got a little bit of butter and a little bit of olive oil. So I am just cooking my chicken, getting a little sear on it on both sides. And once I've got that seasoned side down in the pan, I'm going to season the other side the same with that salt, pepper, garlic powder, Italian seasoning. This, I was so proud of this chicken because it just was seasoned perfectly and I didn't measure anything you can see I just kind of sprinkled it on there but this was absolutely delicious I had really wanted to go get Italian food this particular night but decided no I'm gonna be good I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna make it myself because I know how to and I was glad I did because this was better than what I get at my Italian place so I put that in the air fryer to let the chicken finish cooking I just seared it and then let it finish I don't think I used the air fryer function. I'm pretty sure I just used the bake function, but it's easier to use my air fryer for that if it's just something small. So then in a pan, I've got some more butter going in as well as some garlic, and I'm just mixing that around until the garlic is fragrant and then adding in some spinach. This is one of the things that I wanted to use up out of my fridge before my trip. So I throw in my spinach with the garlic, get that all mixed up, and then I'm going to season this as well. So I seasoned this with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, some garlic powder, an onion powder, and then some red chili flakes. And then a little bit of Italian seasoning went into that as well. And I'm going to just cook this spinach down, let it get all nice and soft and wilted and cooked down. And then I'm going to add some heavy cream to this. And this made a really, really delicious meal. So if you're going to try anything from this video, highly recommend this. Again, I do not have an exact recipe, so this is very much something that you can season to your taste. And I saved some pasta water from when I boiled my spaghetti and then added a little bit of that as well. And then some Parmesan cheese. And this is just mainly to give you an idea, hopefully, of flavors. If you're new here with these What's For Dinner videos, if I have an exact recipe, I will post it. But otherwise, I'm just trying to give you all some general ideas for some meal inspiration here. So work with what you've got and work with what you like. So I add all my pasta into that sauce. I gave it a taste and it tasted so good. And then because I was feeling fancy this night, because I originally intended on getting takeout, when I did take my chicken out of the air fryer, I sliced it on an angle and everything and I tried to make it so fancy and I sent a picture to my mother that night and was like, look at this, I'm so proud of this. I'm pretty sure I also posted it to my Instagram stories as well. And then right after this, I went to Ireland, which I promised that video is coming today as I'm recording this video. I am also editing several other videos, so hopefully Ireland should be up soon. But while I was in Ireland, the food was good, but I was so sick of potatoes when I got home. This is also the first thing I made when I got back from Ireland. I had frozen that second chicken breast after I cooked it, and I took that out and made it again, and it was so good. Next up was right before my trip, I was using up all the leftovers out of the fridge. All of these components can be seen in different videos that I have posted. 
I think they might even all be in the same video uh, because I made several leading up to that trip. So my crock pot chili is in a video that I can link in the description box below. And if it's not in that same video, I'll also link my Italian potatoes, which is what you see in the front right corner of the screen there, and then some bread. Next up is once I got back from Ireland. So we're skipping into October finally here with my meals. So I got home and I immediately tested positive for COVID as soon as I got home. I didn't even make it back to work. Uh, I just ended up staying home for an extra five days and then I was able to test negative, which was good. It was very, very mild for me. I had just gotten the booster two weeks beforehand. So I had a worse reaction to the booster than I did to COVID, so the booster did its job. So while I was home, I was keeping it real simple with some tomato soup and grilled cheese. I am seasoning my tomato soup, which is not something I normally do, but I saw Sammy over at Manage in the Maze season her tomato soup and I was like that's brilliant maybe I would actually like the tomato soup more if I did that because I am one who will dip my grilled cheese into tomato soup but I don't then finish the soup the soup is there as a vessel to dip my grilled cheese into but I did actually drink some of this after I was done with my grilled cheese so I just put in what I normally do is a can of the tomato soup and then a can of milk but to it I added some onion powder garlic powder um, some pepper, and it was very tasty that way. And then for my grilled cheese, kept it simple. Spread some butter on my bread, put cheese on it, just the plain old American plastic cheese, as some people call it, but the Kraft Singles, and then just put that right into my pan. Got it nice and golden brown on both sides, and this was a simple and tasty meal. And I think I had it again the next day as well for lunch because I did have a little bit of leftovers but since I plan on only having a little bit of the soup and drinking up the leftovers of it I put it in a little coffee cup there. Next up I had ordered some delivery while I was home because I only had a certain amount of groceries. I hopped off a plane and then immediately was in lockdown, so I couldn't exactly get too many groceries. So I got Chinese takeout, and it was very disappointing. This place is going to be crossed off the list of new Chinese places to go to. Next up is really simple, some chicken and rice aroni. For my chicken, I've got a pan with some olive oil in it. I had already seasoned the one side before I put it in. And then once it's in the pan, I'm seasoning this with onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and a little bit of Italian seasoning. Very similar to the first part of this video, but not doing this over the pasta. Once it is browned on one side, I'm going to flip this over, brown it on the other side, and then this is going to go into the air fryer to finish off cooking while I make my rice aroni. And then for my rice aroni, I made it according to the package instructions. The only thing I did after that was add the chicken once it was fully cooked, and I added a little bit of frozen peas. I had peas to use up in my freezer, so I added just about half a cup of frozen peas into this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and got a little bit of meal inspiration for some easy weeknight meals. I hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching.